Music can portray meaning just as much as a good narrative. What the hell? Our records don't say anything about a machine like this. Nier Automata is one of the most popular narrative titles of 2017. The contrast of elegant and peaceful tracks with dissonant battle tracks make for a good variety, and this is clearly something Kechi Okabe, the composer of Nier Automata, has thought about. In this video, we will discuss how some of the pieces of music in the game make the player feel at certain points, and more importantly, how they are able to do this. If you know me, then you will know I love looking into how music and art for games is created. I even have the piano score book for Neurotomata so I can play the pieces you hear in game myself. My favourite piece to play however has to be the City Ruins tracks. These tracks contain three pieces of music, all of which can merge together seamlessly with each other. This is called an adaptive soundtrack. Adaptive soundtracks are used to make a clear but smooth transition between different moods. In the case of City Ruins, the tracks build up from a feeling of emptiness to a feeling of clear direction. It's hard to imagine that without hearing it, so here's an example of all the tracks being merged together. Even though all of these tracks are based off of the same piece, they vary a lot. The first calm version of this piece has a mixture of monophonic and homophonic textures, but overall has very few instruments anyway. Along with this, it has quiet dynamics and most of the accompaniment is ambient. This all builds up to make an overall empty sounding track. The next version of this track builds up more of a structure. Most, if not all of the track is now homophonic, and there's the addition of an acoustic guitar. Along with this, the piano now has a part which outlines the 3-4 time signature of the piece, adding to the structure. This clearer structure creates a clearer direction for the player. Finally, we have the last piece in this suite. It does all of what the previous track done, with the addition of a percussion part and a clear bass line. The piece is now more polyphonic than homophonic as well. This is what the other pieces were building up to. The player has a clear sense of direction while this piece is playing, and the music matches these thoughts perfectly. The piece, Song of the Ancients, takes a very different tone from the City Room Suite, but at the same time, it is played in very different places too. You'll find this piece played in some boss fights, or where there are masses of enemies. This piece starts off with a rhythmic ostinato in the string section, along with a clear percussion beat. This, mixed with a fast tempo, tells you that something big is coming. Just after this introduction part, the vocals within the piece start to sing in harmony with each other. An interval of a second is heard on the first vocal phrase, and then an interval of a third in the next. This gap between the voices increase and shows the listener the scale of what is coming. Throughout the piece there are then more repeating phrases which have ascending melodies, and these help build up suspense within the fight. Naturally, this piece also has a polyphonic texture, to signify the chaos which fits perfectly with the fight scene. This is the final piece we're going to go over, and once again, it differs greatly from the last piece. You will hear this piece near the end of the game, where the player is meant to feel that things are not going as much their way as they were at the start. 
This piece uses legato rhythms and a slow tempo in order to show the player that the mood is meant to be sadder than it was elsewhere in the game. The piano parts are echoed by the ambience you hear in the accompaniment, which yet again give us a feeling of emptiness like what we felt when we heard the first City Ruins track. However, this time, it makes us feel hopeless at finding our way, and doesn't make us feel like we can find a direction at all. This piece is the start of the soundtrack slowly breaking down the progress you have made up until this point in the game.